Laura here again out on the shores of Puget Sound and we're getting ready to take my open ROV back out for another investigation of our little storm drain. Um, I figured I'd talk a little bit about some things that are really helpful if you have an open ROV. And one of those things is actually a good pair of rubber boots in the event that you plan on launching from shore, which is what I normally do. Um, Today's gonna to be cool. We're testing it out. This is the first run since I put in a new ESC. Um, some of the issues I was describing both on the forum and my last video uh, were likely actually caused by a short due to a couple wires that were pinched in one of the original ESCs. Um, some of the glitches were probably from that. And so I replaced the ESC. Um, another thing of note is always make sure that you follow the directions um, in the assembly guide really, really closely because we actually had my laser um, sights out just a little bit and those were rubbing on the uh, acrylic of the e-chassis tube and they actually were putting undue stress on my servo and so I probably burnt out the servo. I replaced that as well. It works great now. And I made sure to reposition uh, my lasers so that they're flush with the... Uh, um, and so everything's working really well now. I just retested it in the uh, bathtub trial, my bathtub confined water trials. In addition, one of the things that I noted um, in some of my last dives with it were that it goes really, really fast. And I thought, you know, hey, it would be kind of nice to have some lower speeds. And so I posted that on the forums. Um, I thought, well, what about kind of some incremental, like lower, like 0.5 thruster speed and stuff. And one of the support guys brought up the fact that um, I was using five cells on each side, which actually means I was running over 12 volts and the system is designed for running a bit over nine volts, which um, just the way the little motors work makes them go faster. I've uh, reduced my batteries to four on each side, which has it running at around 9.6 volts, um, which has actually slowed things down a bit and made it a little more controllable. In addition to that, they mentioned it has much finer control and incremental speeds with the gamepad controller. Another nice thing to have, um, if you live in a place that has rain or sun, is actually an umbrella. I actually use a C-stand, which holds my umbrella really well. I tend to not use it on windy days, but if it's only mildly windy, I'll actually use um, a sandbag on the bottom and kind of put my chair over the leg so that it doesn't uh, blow over. But I am a little bit judicious with its use. Um, usually I use it so that I don't get my computer wet. I'm looking forward to when they have the iPad um, controller done because the iPad, at least mine, is uh, smaller and a little bit more resistant to, I think, um, salt water and rain and things like that. The final thing I like having, um, it's more of a convenience than necessity, is actually a chair. So I um, have my umbrella, I have my chair, I have my bucket and my ROV. The site looks good, nice and calm. So let's get this show on the road. Thank you. 